Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to another video and on this video I'm gonna show you how to clear the Herrick uh, Floor 2 dungeon. I'm not making a video on Floor 1 so it was actually so easy and it isn't really necessary to make a video on that. And I just want to make uh, videos on other things uh, as fast as possible like Floor 3 and uh, some other new things that are on the game. So yeah, about Floor uh, 2. On heroic mode you're gonna need uh, tier 2 armor, uh, tier 4 or 3, flung and maces, scimitars, bow, scroll of terrors and steel potions. I didn't bring a steel potion but uh, they're gonna be helpful on the floor 2. So basically the floor 2 is uh, the same like uh, a normal dungeon but you can get uh, 4 different perks that will make the dungeon harder. The perks that I got on this dungeon are the, if I die, the dungeon ends and uh, I lose everything. The enemies can respawn after you kill them. Uh, I loot the uh, chest 100% uh, more longer and the enemies can notice you 30% uh, more far. And I saw that you can get some different perks. So that makes the Herrick dungeon more interesting. But uh, there was actually a perk that makes the dungeon so freaking hard, which is um, the perk that reduces your health under 100 HP. And if you get that perk, just keep the dungeon. Use the key. He'll use the key till you get the right perks that uh, makes the dungeon not that hard. But if you feel confident on yourself uh, doing the dungeon under 100 HP and killing Eisenborg, then just go ahead, but that will just be so damn hard. And the strategy here with the scroll of terrors, like you already saw in the beginning of the video, if you step on a trap and a fanatic is chasing you, just basically use scroll of terrors and scare them away, so you don't die. The scroll of terrors it can also be helpful on some other situation, like I'm gonna show you right now. So when I was about to fight that Furious uh, Desecrators, uh, I just uh, got a uh, Forsaken respawning, so I just used Scroll of Terrors to not fight them both, and I just used less heals. And also when uh, killing uh, Fanatics, just bring them on the first uh, room and kill them there because they can respawn, and if you kill them on other rooms, they will be a problem if you respond if they respond while you are fighting a desecrator or, or forsaken. So basically, if you kill them on the first room, it will take them more uh, time to come to you. Probably other people like Foldy Peter or Grim Hex will come with better strategies or cheaper ways, but uh, this is just the strategy that I use on this dungeon, and, and also this was my first time. So yeah. That's gonna be all about this video guys, hope you enjoyed it and also please don't forget to drop a like and to subscribe if you are new. So yeah, goodbye and see you guys next time.